hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. What up, Jay? Oh, you know, dude, we're just hanging out. As always, me and you, together, Whoa, okay. talking about things all right, all right. and stuff. What else do we do together? Uh... Eat lunch and dinner something. We did eat lunch and dinner yesterday. That was that was fun. That was funny. You're like, well, we had dinner together. I was like, yeah, we actually ate lunch together too. He's like, oh, we date now, ain't we? It's <laughs> happened to be in the same room. We come you know it's odd? We, we live in the same place and we rarely ever eat at the same time. Nah. I feel like that's probably normal though. Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on what sort of relationship you and your roommate have. Because some people, roommate, they're all like buddy, buddy, best friends. Let's let's eat dinner. Let's go to the grocery store. Let's hang out. Let's go to the mall. Like, what are we going to do? We're going to cook in the kitchen together and like <laughs> make dinner together. You make this, I'll make this. You will just hang out listening to the freaking Katy Perry. Yeah. No. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Yeah. I don't know, man. But uh, yeah, yesterday it was uh it was, uh, actually, I was done eating dinner, and then you were like, God damn it, you ate food. Now I need to eat food, too. Yeah. I may have taken my first bite when you were still. <laughs> Had my so, last bite, Technically, yeah. still. So, uh, anyways, thank you for joining us today on the Crazy Down Podcast. We're very glad you're here, aren't you, TNT? Oh, man, I love it, dude. <laughs> Whether you're joining us on our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media, love make it. sure you go and subscribe there, or uh, you're listening to us, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, yep. uh, Grandma's Turntable, whatever you are doing it on, and this guy's on uh, Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day. That is at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Central AM, TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore crazy town. Uh, out with your boy live. Heck yeah. So TNT. Yeah. Facial recognition Yo, technology. I saw this and I started to do something on it. Go right What'd ahead. What you do? What do you want to do on it? <laughs> Nothing. It's crazy. Yeah. So it's you nuts. know, it's been coming out for years and years and years that facial recognition. Facial recognition technology mm -hmm. is being developed and, you know, with AI and all this stuff. And there's been a lot of controversy about governments using it on their, like, CCTV cameras in the streets. And then police are using it to, like, recognize people and da 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 da, -da. Um, And people are like, hey, this could be a, a very big breach of our civil rights by, like, just being able to walk around in the streets or the subway station and, like, they can recognize that you're there and like whatever. It's like it's just very Big Brother Patriot Act, right? So uh, with all the current events that are going on with uh, you know protests and things like that, mm -hmm. uh, IBM. If you don't know who IBM is, they're a pro one of the founding computer so or hardware software companies what's, ever. What's like, it, what's it stand for? Hmm, I used to know that. Something, something machines. What was it? I don't know. I used to know. Anyways, you can look that up. That's fine. But uh, IBM has announced that they are completely done with facial recognition technology. They are no longer going to offer the technology to companies, and they are no longer going to research the technology, period. They are done and over with it. Really? And also, along with that, Amazon has also temporarily, for now, backed away from it as well they're taking a year-long pause on their development of facial recognition oh technology. yeah you hold off for a year right exactly i'm sure you well, just... see here here's what my thought is they're like well let's step back for now but if all this falls to the wayside we can get right back in where we were we don't want to lose any money i want to be that first trillionaire you know exactly or they're just like hey you know we got to make some cuts anyway right so let's cut this let's, for a year for now yeah. don't worry we'll keep it Save ourselves a yeah. billion dollars. We'll put it in the cloud for a minute. <laughs> put it in the cloud. And we'll pull it on down. But uh, And then IBM has also in that announced that companies should reevaluate selling their facial recognology. Facial recognology. <laughs> <laughs> can I say it? It's like when I said dick pictations, dude. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> facial recognition. <laughs> Technology. Re recognology. <laughs> facial recognition software to law enforcement. Uh. <laughs> because I guess there was some things where like they did some tests with some of it and they like use like faces of people from like the Senate and it was like identifying them as like people in like criminal databases. See, yeah. And that's the thing is like it could it could fuck up one time and it could put some an innocent person in jail. That's right. the, that's the biggest. Or issue. they're hunting down an innocent person who's not like. Yeah. Yeah. Like they were like you were here and you're like, dude, I was in bed. Yeah. 
Yeah. But we saw you on camera. I'd be like, I don't under. Here's what I don't get: how a little camera the size of like a golf ball, the lens. Yeah. And I'm in a crowd of three thousand people walking through a subway. Dude, they do. And they're like, bing. There's Jonas. Like, <laughs> all right, enhance, enlarge. Right. I have on sunglasses and a hat, and they're like, there he is. Like, really? Come on. Like, I mean, I get it, but like, it's messed up, dude. I like the idea of it because it does seem like it could help with safety a lot. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, but, but yeah. It, it's amazing, and that's not even like the only way that they keep tabs on us, man. There's the fact that they can ping our phones. Oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah. to what cell phone tower you're on and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you hear a million times like about like criminals. They get they get caught because they they prove that their cell phone was pinging the tower right by where the crime happened. Like Aaron Hernandez, mm-hmm. the football player, they like it pinged a, a goddamn tower right by the industrial field where that dude was murdered. They're like, I mean, they're, uh, what can you say? And then they can just ping your phone an hour or so later to figure out where you dumped the body. Right. It's, it's like, like yeah. It, why it's was like, your phone yeah, going like, across? How the are room? you gonna like who like how are you gonna? Say, oh yeah, yeah. The guy who killed him had my phone. Yeah. Like I mean, exactly. right, dude? Like nobody has your phone. Very very rare do people have other people's phones so yeah if you're gonna go on a run first thing you do get rid rid of that that phone phone. yeah yeah exactly it's like it's there's there's a lot of ways they can trace where we are i mean that's how google maps does traffic they don't use exactly who's in the traffic Mm -hmm. but they can tell there's a ton of phones all backed up in one area and they're like oh traffic stopped here yep and it took this phone five minutes to get out of traffic so it's going to take the rest of them probably right and they use all the all that data Mm -hmm. to know and and they're using phone data to ping like people and like see that people weren't staying at home during lockdown they're like oh there's large gatherings of people in downtown chicago like maybe not exactly where they are but they know there's a hundred thousand phones in this general vicinity so it's like they can track you man easy yeah I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all, Jonas, but do you use the like the facial recognition on your cell phone? I do not. Do you I use, don't use any of that stuff. Do man. you use the th- fingerprint? Do not. Do you use the key number? Like a number. You press a number, like Kanye West, zero uh, zero zero zero. Uh not if uh no. Do you use the like the puzzle where you have to like connect the dots? Nope. You don't use any? Well, on my phone a lot of stuff I don't use because I don't go anywhere. If I know I'm going to be somewhere, sometimes I will turn it on just in case I lose it. Well, what do you use when you use it, man? Oh, oh, like when I, uh, oh, I like, I don't use it all the time. But if I do, if I do, like, say I'm going to like an event. Do you see what I got to deal with? Yeah. Well, (laughs) I don't use it. Well, what do you use when you use it? Probably the numbers. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, if I'm going to like, say a a festival yeah, and I'm, I'll turn on security that day because if I do lose my phone, I don't want anybody to be able to get into it. But most of the time. I'm yeah. not anywhere that I'm going to lose my phone. All right. So you've never used a facial recognition nope. on your phone? Or nope. Phone? Nor the thumbprint or none of that stuff. Right. I don't use any of that stuff. All right. I just wonder if if they have access to that, man. I'm sure they do. That's stored somewhere, dude. Yeah. Everything is stored somewhere, man. If they can ping your phone. Can they gain access to your phone? Uh... Oh, dude. There, there's so much information about us out there. They could, they could, could, You could probably walk into a room with people you never met. And they could tell you a million things about you. Yeah. They could tell you everything about you. To hey, what God. kind of porn you like to watch, to what kind of like Whoa. what kind what you've been what you want to buy this year for Christmas. And fucking goddamn it, Jonas, just as I spoke about it last night, there was hazmat suits in my goddamn YouTube this morning. I go on my phone and look at YouTube and they're like, hey, look at all these hazmat suits on witch.com. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Uh, Me and Jonas looked up hazmat suits last night because he was complaining about people not wearing masks. At yeah, the I, him that. I was like, you should just buy hazmat suits, and he Googled it, <laughs> and lo and behold, this they is, were actually affordable. Lo and behold, yeah. like hazmat suits ain't that expensive. Yeah, they really aren't. Like, like a you're, paying, you're bucks. paying thirty bucks for a, a good mask <laughs> of cloth. You might as well pay a hundred bucks for a whole suit. Yeah, and I, I was like, Jonas, I'll happily hose you down in the, in the front. <laughs> <laughs> the front yard if you'd like you know that's oh fine. jesus <laughs> yeah so but no i'm glad that's happening though because like i'm not a conspiracy theorist but i'm also a realist and i realize how dangerous that can be yeah and the honest the honest to god truth is that it's not dangerous for the vast majority of us um 
but it's a slippery slope, man. It is, yeah. It's with great. It's one of those things that ultimately is like with great power comes. That's a great power to have. Yeah, comes great responsibility. And whenever you have that much power, what's that phrase you use? Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yes, power does. Wait, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Right, right, exactly. Because it's it's just when it's like you don't have the intention to use it for malcontent yeah. or mal whatever. But like when you have that power, you're like, oh, well, I could just, I could easily just, and you're like, and then you, then it's like, it's like you do something once that you're like, this is wrong. And then you're like, oh, maybe the next time I don't feel so bad. I did it once. It wasn't that bad. Nothing bad happened. And then you do it again and again and again. And next thing you know, it's commonplace. Yep. That's why they say a lot of the things that are going on during this situation about like people staying at home and monitoring and trying to pass these laws, da, 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 da. It's like, it could be a very crippling thing to privacy moving forward if these things aren't repealed when it's over it's like they put out the patriot act when september 11th happened and they've used the patriot act to do all sorts of stuff to invade our privacy yes. since it's meant for terrorists but they're using, using it on the public us, yeah exactly so it's like, like, but now it's like 20 years later so they're like kind of like rubber bullets you know yeah right <laughs> so um <clears throat> you have you heard about like uh when a police or a law enforcement or military uh does a big drug bust they usually will like they usually will like lay out all the drugs on a table and be like, look at all these drugs we found. Like, look Excuse how me. they lay out half the drugs on the table. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> Two thirds of the drugs right, right, are laid right, right. out, perhaps. In an ideal world, they show you how many drugs that they've. That yeah, they've yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so uh, you know, and usually they're like, oh, look at this big old. It's like a beer pong table filled with drugs. That's a lot of drugs. Yeah. You know, <laughs> in uh, Mar Myanmar, which is a country on the Chinese border in oh, Asia. Okay, fair. Never heard of it. They. They had a drug bust. They had so many drugs, they had to lay them out in a pasture the size of a football field. Wow. They had 18 tons of meth. 18 tons of meth? So 36,000 pounds of meth. It said that mostly in the form of pink pills. So I guess they're putting meth in pill form now. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a meth connoisseur. No, me either. If you're a they meth said, user, let us they know. They said there was barrels of chemicals, so many barrels, it could have filled up 25 bathtubs with the chemical used to make meth. They had tanks, reactor vessels, flasks. Oh. They said basically, if you think like the Breaking Bad Super Lab in the show, yeah. it was like that on a larger scale yeah. that they they busted. But here here's the thing that kind of... um. Like, they had the bus, which was great, but then now they've discovered something else, and they're like, now we have an even bigger problem. What's so the bigger it, problem? In Miramar, they, they have a, uh, a militia, and I, and I don't know if it had the name or not, but it, it basically serves under the army of Miramar, but they're not supported by Miramar's government. They, hmm. Their job is to fight off the armies of the, – the army's enemies, whether it's like the indigenous peoples or countries or whatever, from taking over like these, these lands of, of Miramar. Okay. But they do this for basically for free, but with that, they're able to kind of engage in economic activities as they please. So what – so what happens is they were selling meth. So they the people who were in this militia are not capable of producing drugs. So what they do is they invite the Chinese mafia in and they smuggle the Chinese mafia into their country to build these meth labs and then they protect them in Miramar. What? And then they use the drug money to to buy their guns and their whatever to protect the country. What? And the in the gov government knows about this. And that isn't even the problem. That, I'm just, I'm just kind of sounds like a problem. Well, yeah, 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 absolutely. But so here's what the big problem was. Along with with this bust, they found a bunch. They didn't list how much of methyl fentanyl, yeah. which you know fent what fentanyl is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fentanyl is basically heroin, but like thirty times stronger. Like you hear about tons of people overdosing on fentanyl Medical because it takes grade. very little fentanyl to overdose. Yep. Methyl fentanyl is even stronger than regular fentanyl. But what their biggest concern was, all of the equipment they, that they busted and took was not able to produce methyl fentanyl. So now the question is, where the fuck are they producing all of this methyl fentanyl at? 
that and that, so now the mystery is like where the fuck do we figure out people but, are so like but if they're protected aren't they protected in? well no the, the, they didn't bust the army they didn't bust that militia okay so wait they invite these people to come into their country and produce drugs and then the militias to protect them. The government knows about it. The militia protects the land. I think it's like they, they do the blind eye thing. Like, oh, hey, we have this building. If you want to come and work in this building, we'll protect it because we're part of the mil militia. Oh, okay, okay. I thought they had, like, an agreement. Like, no, this no, was a part I, of the economy. I imagine there is a group. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's like that gray area where they're like, don't ask, don't tell. Like... Uh yeah, well you didn't breach a contract like a motherfucker if you take eighteen tons of my uh methamphetamine. Right, right. But so, but like it's like that. Yeah, they they stopped all this crystal meth. So now they're like, where the who who's producing this methyl fentanyl? Where are they producing at? <laughs> like they were just storing it in Miramar. <laughs> Story. And they're like, is, is this the new channel? Like, it comes from like China to Miramar, then to the states, or like, what are they? So then now they have a whole new mystery to try to like unravel. And it's like they thought, like, oh yeah, we all we're awesome. We busted this huge drug meth company, and they're like, and now we have a whole other problem that we're trying to figure out where the hell this shit's coming from. That's crazy, man. That's a lot of uh, it's a lot of drugs, dude. It's a lot of. Drugs. They said it was about the size of a football field. Yeah, that's like a lot. how much does uphill weigh? <laughs> and then you have 36,000 pounds of pills. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, I mean, I have a prescription that I have, and it has, like, 100 pills in it for, like, a three-month supply, and that doesn't even weigh, like, an ounce. An ounce, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't know they put meth in pills for one thing. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I never knew that was a thing. But, but you I know mean, how that shit evolves, dude. Like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, meth labs blow up. You're like, if you can put that shit in a pill and you ain't got to worry, you know. Fair enough. You don't got to smoke it now. You can just eat it. Well, I'm glad, at least, I'm, I mean, it's kind of fucked up to say, but I'm glad that it's not happening right here in this country, man. We got enough issues on our hands. Oh, hand. God, Jesus, right? So, like, Was so, this yeah, recent? I, but what? Was that recent? Yeah, yeah, that was, like, the last week. No. Oh. Well, maybe, yeah, last two weeks, because depending when this comes out, but. Global pandemic and meth. Yeah, dude, so it's like. Um, maybe it's the cure for corona, Jonas. Mm. Why don't you smoke meth? Mm. And then we'll get you, wait, first we'll get you corona. Mm. Then we'll get you a bunch of meth, and you can just smoke meth and have Corona and see what happens. Jonas, I've never been more on board for anything <laughs> else. You have a lot of plans, Jonas, but this one I am on board with. <laughs> it's for, for science. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know uh, what's going to happen with all this drugs and What's gonna facial recognology facial recognology re re <laughs> facial oh, recognition. nothing's gonna happen man uh the drug industry is a sham like the like the pharmaceutical industry yeah oh yeah honestly i kind of wonder what would happen if they just made all drugs legal like what what would happen um, i imagine that some company would like fill a more size Philip Morris size drugs like cocaine would probably just blow up, dude. And you yeah, have like well, this big multi billion like, dollar conglomerate that does cocaine oof, and only right? cocaine. We talked about this before, kind of like if all drugs were legal, but like I feel that, like, you know, like anything in proper rations won't kill you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can be a casual mess smoker. But what happens is it's addicting, it's addicting. And, and people smoke more and 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 more. And then they like, then they fuck up their bodies and stay up for days and lose their jobs. And like, you know, it like, it's, it's a, it's a butterfly effect of like things, you know, like cocaine. Some people do cocaine. Some people do cocaine every so often. That's it. They never have a problem. They don't spend all the money. That's it. Some people use chainsaws on other people to get cocaine. <laughs> My thing is, it's like, though, it's like. I don't know. I, you know, I chose not to get involved with these, with right. these activities. Right. You know, and I, I'd like to think that I could control myself if I ever were to, to the point where it's like, I probably need to make a change and yeah. get off of it. I kind of look at it like cigarettes, cigarettes proven to kill people. It proven addictive. Proven addictive. Yet it's legal. So what would be the difference if it was? Other stuff? Yeah. I guess, I guess the only difference is like doing it one time won't kill you immediately where yeah. like you can do cocaine or crack or meth one time and you'll die depending on how much you do it's like it's almost like the world is policing the people from themselves where people yes. should be able to police their own bodies mm. like if i'm gonna that's do kind of my my point yeah well yeah and that's how i've always felt about it too like 
and I, and I don't like it's gonna sound really awful to say this, but like if you legalize all drugs and people could go to it and you could make sure what you're getting is clean, it's not it's not laced, it's not you're not trying to do heroin and it's really fentanyl, you're not doing coke and it's half Ajax or whatever. You're getting you want acid, it's pure chemical grade acid. There's no other stuff mixed in it. <laughs> Somebody is salivating right now right. Oh, that's listening. There's one listener that's salivating. He's like, oh, my God, I wish I could. <laughs> but, like, if you knew you could get a pure form of any drug, the people who wouldn't be able to control themselves would eventually be gone because they would end up wiping themselves out. <laughs> but, yeah, but, that, but that's not that. – but we don't want that. We don't – It's it sucks that, like, people are so impulsive and so unable to control themselves that you have to govern the people – from things yeah but in that group of people that can't control themselves kids right oh yeah i mean yeah dude they're I mean, 100 percent susceptible so right i guess you gotta they can just be like if you're if you're 30 or over you can do all the drugs you <laughs> and then as soon as i turn 18 i'm gonna be like oh dude could you get me some <laughs> some get some medical grade cocaine <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i know it's legal yeah right. Let's and see. Well, Will I problem. have the heroin? The, it's right behind the counter at the gas station. Come on. And you're just <laughs> they just got like sheets of acid. People yeah like, right. You want you want trip balls tonight, son? <laughs> like, you imagine they just have like one of those things that they keep like Zippo lighters in that turn around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like I'll have one of this, the California Kush. I'll have one. What what would they name the cocaine? White Pony. Oh, oh, they come up with so many. They would white have, pony you know, they'd have an ironic one. It'd be called Black Stallion. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's, but it's what, they would like figure out a way to make the powder black. Food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know, man. Like. It's I I want to always be the guy who's like let the people decide for themselves. Like mm. humans have 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 ability to make choices. We're all responsible for our own choices. Yeah. We all we're responsible for our own actions. We're all responsible for what we do. But well, the problem is that people can't. Lowest common denominator, man. <laughs> Not everybody can handle it. I mean, people can't even walk outside with a mask on if they got a pandemic going on. <laughs> let, let alone not take enough cocaine to kill yourself. It's like it's like saying, like, uh, why do we have a law against murder when everybody knows murder's wrong? We don't have to have a law saying that you can't kill people. Right. You should just know. Right. But people still do it. Yeah. So now we have right. to have laws. Same thing. Yeah. Like, same thing. We like, have to have delineation between first and second and third. Because, like, what your intent was or whether it happened by accident oh, or, yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? And the same thing. Yeah. Same thing with, like, all those sort of things. Like, you know, like, assault. Rape. Like, all those things. Like, people know they're fucking wrong. You know you shouldn't be punching other people in the face. You know you shouldn't be sexually assaulting other people. Yeah. But people do it. It's, it's just like in that, I mean, that's the reason why like drugs aren't now like, you know, things like that are natural. That's another story because like, if you could just walk mm -hmm. out in a pasture and pick it up, <laughs> I mean, I see why those are the things that are finally getting yeah. traction to become legal. Cause yeah. like you can, you can smoke all the weed you want. You ain't dying. You'll go to bed, <laughs> but you ain't going to die. You can't overdose from smoking weed. <laughs> I imagine you could if you smoked like a pound of it or something. But, but by that point, you're going to be asleep, dude. You're like you, I don't think it, like I think it is such a depressant that like by the time you got enough in you to be the point it's dangerous, you would be asleep. I don't think you could function anymore. Eh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> like you'd have to take it in some other way. Yeah, like you would have to just have like you take like a pound of like THC and put it in one brownie and eat the whole brownie. Ooh. Or something like that. Like that would have to be the way it would that's, happen. That's a gritty brownie, man. <laughs> that's a gritty brownie. <laughs> you imagine condensed, just like hashish. Oh, oh. <laughs> gross. Yeah, so, but yeah, man, I don't know. But uh, but you know, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube under Crazy Town Media or uh, follow us on iTunes or Sound or SoundCloud, Spotify. We're on all of them. Uh, this guy's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. Oh. Yeah. So, but for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are uh, Ota.